What the routing grid does for us is give us a graphical representation of where inputs, like audio inputs, are routed to. And we can both view where those sources are assigned to go to, as well as change those sources. And this graphical representation starts from the top. Those would be our sources, or inputs. And it goes down and to the left to our destinations, or outputs. So in this example, which is my 1248, I can see my sources could be physical inputs, like mic inputs, guitar inputs, analog inputs, as well as digital inputs like SPDIF and ADAT. And again, those are the physical input connections on my 1248. In addition to the physical input sources, we have other sources like playback from computer. That could be your recording software like Pro Tools or Logic or Digital Performer. Or they could be sources coming from the onboard mixer inside your AVB hardware. Our destinations could also be physical outputs like phones out or main out. We also have the analog and digital outputs, and those are the hardware outputs on my interface. Those destinations or outputs could also be going into your computer for your recording software. And finally, you could send these sources to a destination inside that onboard mixer.